with this it's a time for a demo of azure open ai so let's see that thing now i'm there in my azure portal uh, this is my portal.azure.com i have already signed in with my account and as you can see here we have a service called azure open ai service when i try to create the service i want you to understand one thing that even if you have an active azure subscription it's not necessary that you will be able to create an Azure OpenAI service with that. When I create an Azure OpenAI service, and if I choose a subscription in which Azure OpenAI service is activated, then only you'll be able to create the service. As you can see here, in my case, I have one more subscription in my same account. If I choose the other subscription, immediately it's showing me that in this subscription, you do not have uh, a configuration which is allowed for OpenAI. And this is something which is blocked in the quota id feature or something like that if you want to unblock this you have to request to microsoft so there is a form you can click here on this particular link and that's going to take you to this particular url aka.ms.oai access open ai access this is a nothing but a microsoft form which you have to fill up if you fill up the form with the proper details configuration inside that microsoft will take 24 to 48 hours uh, to either approve or reject your request if it is approved in that subscription then only you'll be able to use azure open ai otherwise you won't now in my case in one of my subscription i have open ai configured so i'm just going to select that i'm going to specify a new resource group like ai 900 rg this is going to be a name of my open ai service so i'm giving maruti az open ai with some number at the end of this the pricing tier is default standard at zero we're okay with this everything else is fine i'll just go with next next and review plus create once this azure open ai service is provisioned successfully it is going to have all the pre-built models configured from open ai now when i say all the these are going to be those models which are approved at the time of the approval process from microsoft side if there are few models which are legacy models if there are few models which are still in beta and it is not coming into your azure open ai service you can further request to microsoft for adding those models and then they will do the needful things to allow you to do that let's wait for a few moments and then it will be done okay the deployment is completed let's click on go to resource Okay, I'm going to click on go to Azure Open AI Studio. This is going to help me to directly open the Azure Open AI Studio into a separate tab. Okay, we are inside the Azure Open AI Studio. I'm just going to configure certain things here. But before that, let's check a few things. This is a section which is known as Playground. The Playground has a chat, completion, DALI, and assistant kind of a four options inside that. We have a management section where we can have deployments which are nothing but our own customized models which we have deployed inside this. Then we have model section which is going to provide all the available pre-built models from Azure OpenAI side. You can see we have DALI 3.0, we have GPT-35 Turbo with the different kind of model versions available with that. And same way we have some other versions of GPT uh, and we have some embedding models. Now, if I click on data files, this is going to help me to upload my own data set onto, on top of this. So you can fine tune your pre-built models with your own data set and then you can use it for the, your application. And then we have a quota configuration which is available here. Now, maybe there are chances in a specific region, in the specific subscription, you will not have a proper quota configurations done, then you won't be able to use the model. So the capacity unit for each model is something which is pre-built and configured from this side and uh, you can request for a higher quota increase if you want to try certain more number of requests you want to try in the particular region uh, let's try a few things let me go to my uh, model section we have one model which is this one gpt 35 turbo 16k now i want to use this model and for that i have to go to my deployments I'm going to create a new deployment and I'm going to choose that model from the list which is GPT-35 Turbo 16K. While creating the model, I'm going to select that 
whatever version which is automatically updated to default is perfectly fine. The deployment name I'm specifying something like Maruti GPT 35 uh, T16K. Now remember this is the name which you have to use if you want to use your own model in your application while developing the application. So not the not the model which is pre-built. You have to use the deployment name which is configured here. And that's the reason I'm giving some unique name here. It is also advisable while configuring the deployment, you choose a proper rate limit for that. So we have tokens per minute kind of a rate limit. I'm going to set up to around 5000 tokens per minute, which is I think more than enough for my demo purpose right now. And do you want to enable dynamic quota? Uh, I do not want to enable right now. So I'm just going to click on create. This deployment will be done in few seconds. Once your deployment is visible here, you can use this deployment in your playground so I can just select this and I can choose open in playground which will directly take me to a particular playground associated with that model because it's a GPT model is directly taking me to the chat playground where I can use this model in the right side configuration section and you can see my deployed model is coming in the drop down I also have some parameters configuration here like temperature top P frequency penalty this all configurational things are going to help you to randomize your content and if you are getting a proper response or if you're getting some randomized response uh, it's all going to be configured with these parameters but I'm not going into these parameters right now. In the left side section we have a system message and they are saying that you are an AI assistant that helps people find information. Now while learning this thing we discussed this that we have a system message where we can customize things. Now maybe I can say that you are an AI assistant but I'm saying you are helpful assistant, AI assistant that helps people in finding information and so I'm specifying your helpful assistant that response finding information and always responds in a cheerful manner now when i specify this thing let me start saying like hello now before i do this thing i have to just apply changes continue so these changes are applied system message changes are applied i can also use some examples if i want i can add more examples here well i'm just going to say hello when i say hello it's going to wait for some time and if the api model is ready it's going to give me a response but there are chances that there is something wrong which happened here and it's not responding here. They are saying that if you have created the deployment within last five minutes, you have to wait for a moment. Now, this is a common issue uh, with Azure OpenAI service deployments when you initially deploy them. So you have to wait for some time. You have to wait at least for five minutes until unless the model is ready. And then if it is ready with the deployment, then you can try that. So this is how it is. I'll wait for some time and then I'll try it again after some time so let's wait while this model is getting ready I'm also going to create some more deployments for me so that I can use it in the demo so let me create a new deployment uh, which is going to be using uh, which is going to be using DALI 3.0 domain name uh, I'm giving deployment name Maruti DAL E uh, 3 and then in this we have capacity unit so I'm specifying one capacity unit and I'm going to click on create now I'm just trying to create multiple deployments here so that by the time I want to use it it should be ready um, let me try the chat playground once again if that is working fine otherwise I'll try with the DALI I'm again sending hi or hello if it is ready it's going to show me a response yeah you can see now it is ready it's showing me hello how can I assist you today and now I can provide my kind of an input. I can provide an input which is going to be generating some kind of a list or I can provide an input which is showing me some configurational code generation kind of thing. It's, it's all up to me how I want to generate it. So I can say that, uh, let's say I am traveling to New York tomorrow. I want you to give me a list of places 
I can visit with my family. Now when I say this, it's going to give me a proper response based on the generation. It's showing me that's wonderful. New York City has so much to offer for the families. Here are some of the popular places you can visit. And they're showing me lists like Central Park, Statue of Liberty, Times Square, American Museum of National History, and likewise. They're also showing me, remember to check the opening hour specific guidelines due to COVID-19. So it's showing me all the response with the proper configuration with that. Now I'm saying that this is something which is a proper response. Now I can maybe add on some more examples, some more configuration in the left side, and then I can uh, uh, change this configuration. Now let's say right now this is my helpful assistant. Uh, so he can just help me with this kind of thing, what normally chat GPT can do. Now let's say I'm saying you are a helpful coding assistant. So I'm just saying code assistant. Um, to generate um, code in Python and C sharp. Now I'm intentionally specifying two, specifying two languages here and now I'm going to say apply changes. Continue. So this time we are saying you are a helpful code assistant not a normal AI assistant and I'm saying that uh, hello can you generate a code for a loop? Now I'm just specifying this. If that configuration is working, it can maybe show me some code. Okay, they are showing me how I can generate a Python loop example. So it's a for loop which they are showing me in the C sharp also they are showing me. And yeah, the syntax is identified, it's showing me that correctly. Now let's say I'm saying I want to generate a configuration for Okay, uh, give me a sample code for Fibonacci in C sharp. Now I'm not using C hash this time, I'm using C sharp intentionally. Now uh, maybe while typing this also I have made a mistake in Fibonacci spelling, but still they understood that thing. So in my input I specified a wrong spelling intentionally, so I specified Fibonacci, but this is the correct spelling actually. They, all, they also understand the spelling mistakes, they also understand what you're trying to say inside that. And they've given me a class Fibonacci with the C-sharp main method, with some kind of a configuration, the logic inside that, with a loop. And they are saying in this code, we define the calculate Fibonacci function that recursively calculate the Fibonacci number for a given index. Now, this is how a code generator or a helper is going to help me. Now, same way, if I want to try some other models, I can do that and I can play with the playground if I have the deployments done with this. Let me click on DALI now. The DALI is going to use my uh, DALI 3.0 model. So, you can see in the deployment, it is coming because I have already deployed it. Uh, in the prompt, I can provide a prompt generation for this, like uh, I can say, uh, generate image for um, Azure AI conference and community meet. Now I just provided something like Azure AI conference and community meet. Maybe we are planning some community meet next month and I want to generate some image for that. Now when I provide this kind of uh, insufficient prompt, most of the time the generation of the image is not going to be proper. So I have to properly provide more and more details inside that. Like you can see here they have generated an image for Azure AI conference and community meet. Now this is like a cartoon right now. It's showing me a cartoonized image where a conference with uh, multiple developers are sitting there and then they have laptops, they have a screen, they have a projector and this is the Azure AI conference which they are seeing. Okay. Um, now this is something which I can download if I want. I can generate a new image if I'm not happy with that. I can copy this prompt or I can see the code configuration of this. All these options are available. Let's say I'm going to click on generate a new image. Uh, the moment I generate a new image, this time I'm not changing the prompt. The prompt is same and I'm just saying no, I'm not happy with the first image. I wanted to generate a new image with this. Um, when this is going to generate a new image, this time it is maybe much better than the first one. 
it's showing me a proper setting in the different style it's not a this kind of a round table conference thing this is something which is different and this is maybe an image which i got a little improvised now i'm just going to say okay generate an image for azure ai conference and community meet uh, with real people and azure cloud logo visible on uh, projector visible on wall let's see now this time it's showing me azure cloud logo with ai on the wall and then it's showing me a lot of people are meeting and greeting each other now i can play with this i can improvise the prompt i can generate more and more images like this i can also specify the tile size configuration here i can also have a settings configuration where i can change the image size image style now by default is a vivid image style which is selected here let's say i'm going to change it to natural and then in the image quality is showing me standard i'm keeping it standard and i'm going to save now just image style i have changed and i'm again going to click on generate now this time it's not vivid it's something uh, which was which is natural now so this one is vivid which was generating this kind of an image even though when i said with real people they are showing me this thing now this time i said it is going to be natural so you can see it's, these are like humans real humans are now visible with the azure logo and maybe this is the image which i'm more able to relate with so this is something how you can customize this thing you can see the view core part of this and you can just directly choose your choice of language association with that mostly it's going to be visible with python you can also take the json format of that prompt configuration and then you can associate with that so this is how it is uh, this is what azure open ai playground is all about